Several people. Several I'll ask. All right, so here we go. I'm going to here is I'm going to put a little bit of a frown right there, just a little one. Okay, and then right here, I'm just going to put the smallest bump, and that's going to be his other ear. And now we've created a three dimensional look with our elephant. Uh, so now bring this down and then go way up in there like this with a wiggly line, and that's going to be his trunk or her trunk. And you can make your line however you want it to be. It can be straight, it can be wiggly, and all of our elephants are going to be different anyway, so that's perfect. And now, do a little happy face there. It's good to be right on the side. All right. And now you're going to draw the exact same line that you did with this trunk all the way to here and then stop. It's going to stop right at the exact same place with the exact same line. All right. I can hear the kids so no. All right, so step right down. I'm going to do a quick pause so you guys can catch up. You just hit the bow in the middle. Yeah. I a bow away or then you catch the All right. Good. Okay. Now, we're going to draw the rest of his face right here. And it's just going to come straight down like that. I'm going to do one oval eye right there. And then I'm going to bring a straight line down there touching the ground. All right, now, halfway, right underneath his ear, I'm going to put a straight line there and run it back. That's going to be his back foot, and I'm just going to put a little bit of toenails right there, just two of them, and we can paint those. You know what? We'll paint them right now, as a matter of fact. Looking very fancy. And then I'm going to put some toenails right here. And the line there, just so it looks like his front leg, and I will paint those as well. Okay, so we got our little elephant looking good, and now watch what I do. Right here, I'm going to do a string, and I'm going to cut it off when I get to the nose. So everybody just make a string right there. But when you get to the nose, stop, and then go through the nose without a line, and go over front of it. And then behind it and stop. So it's just like you made an S right there. We're gonna have the string wrapped around his nose. So I'm gonna bring it back this way and just leave it down like that. And now we've got to think about what we're gonna put on that string. And I bet you everybody knows a balloon. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a really thin oval right there. Then I'm going to put a triangle on it, and then a circle, and then a balloon. And I'll put some strings there so it looks like it's tied together. Okay, so you guys catch up on that. And you can do, when you color these, have fun with the balloon. Maybe put some rainbows in there. I'm going to put a little bubble right there to make it look like it's three-dimensional and it's sticking out. And now, 
we're going to do the next part of our drawing. And this one, so this is our big elephant. Now we're going to make our baby hedgehog over there. And we're going to start the same way we did before, is we're going to start with the ear. And look, he's going to be a little. Okay, and now watch what I do. Right here, I'm not going to draw any lines or make the, the shape of the body. I'm just going to do a bunch of little scribbly lines like this all the way to the ground. And I'm not going to put any in the air because they're going to be able to hear very well. I'm going to do just like that. Okay, so now we have his furry little body. And I left it just like that, and we're not going to put any of that fur on this side of him. But we are going to give him a super cute nose right there, sticking up in the air with a little ball on it. And we're going to move it into a smile. Okay. And the same thing, since we did a little eye like that, I'm going to do the same kind of eye with this hedgehog. And I think I'm going too fast, so I'm going to slow down. While you guys are doing that, I will take care of some of this negative space. And remember how we did the clouds, and you don't have to do this. But I always do it like this first, and then I just connect them. All right, now let's do his body. So I'm gonna go here and then give him a big fat tummy like that. And we'll do one little arm here. One little foot there. Okay, now right here, touching his stomach, I want you to make the letter C. So do that, and you'll see what it is in a second. So just the smallest, smallest letter C. And then I'm gonna bring this line from the bottom, watch, all the way around, not touching the top part. And that's gonna be one of his hands, and he's also gonna be holding something. Okay, right here, I'm gonna have a string coming up there and then all the way up there. And we'll tilt a little oval with the triangle and a circle. And Give him a big balloon too. Not too big, because if you make it too big with the hedgehog, he'll float right away. So make sure you only do one balloon, maybe two. We'll give him two. But I think any more than that, and he might float away and end up at Fossey's house. He would like that. So I'm gonna make this balloon behind it. And now I have two fun balloons I can color. All right, so that's looking pretty good. So now what I don't like is all the negative space I have here where I could be adding stuff. So I'll put another cloud here, and that'll give me some good balance throughout the artwork. And this one I'll have go off the page to give the illusion that it's much bigger than it actually is. Fun. And I don't 